Hello, my beautiful soul. So, it's been a long time since uh, I was able to uh, do my last video, which is the uh, love reading. And actually, I really miss to do a uh, YouTube video when it comes to readings because actually, uh, when it comes to my uh, TikTok videos, um, actually, I we have a shorter time on TikTok, so we only have the... Uh, maximum of at least uh, 60 minutes so i'm happy to say that i was able to make this uh, youtube video uh, it is because i can give you an in-depth reading regarding your uh, destiny or your future and actually guys i am so happy because i was able to reach 110,000 followers on tiktok so thank you thank you thank you so much guys i really appreciate your uh uh, for following and liking me on uh, my readings on tiktok so thank you thank you very much and then uh, i just want you to know that i'm going to have a uh, uh, a raffle or a giveaway since we already reached 110,000 followers but uh, later i am going to announce the instruction of the uh, uh the giveaway okay so uh before i will do the reading guys actually we have uh, two decks here as you can see but first, uh, let me just say to you, um, actually, I have this product. It was given by uh, uh, Kelly's. Okay, so here's the sample. It's uh, um, like an eraser. And actually, this is a uh, an essential oil. So if you can see, we have here Kelly's Padayon or what we call uh, eucalyptus. So here's the flavor. And actually, this is uh, 10 ml. So with this one guys, I really want the smell of this one. So here is the bottle. It's like um, a roll-on bottle so that you're going to uh, apply it. Maybe uh, on your, uh, you can inhale and then you can also attach it on the uh, back of your ears. Or you can just use it for your, uh, uh, on your diffuser. And actually you can use this one for travel. Okay, so we have another Kelly's here which is Kelly's Payapa. Okay, and it was uh, flavored chamomile. Okay, um, actually this one is my most favorite with this product from uh, Kelly's Essential Oils. Uh, because it has a uh, scent which is, uh, uh, actually it's not strong, it's just a mild ingredient. And I am using this whenever I am traveling, like I am going to put it on my, uh, on my forehead or maybe on the side of my head. And then we also have here the last one. It's uh, Kelly's uh, Pahinga. This is the other variant of uh, Kelly's Choice. And uh, it's uh, lavender. This one is used for uh, relaxation if you want to relieve your stress, uh, your anxiety. Actually, whenever I feel stressed, guys, I'm also applying this one. Um, this is uh, my second favorite. Actually, all of them are my favorite, the uh, Kelly's Choice. So actually, this is a product of Miss Rika Detikes. So guys, kindly support Kelly's Choice with their essential oils and I do hope that you are going to love it. Okay? So guys, let us proceed to my uh, tarot readings for today. And actually, this reading is uh, for the uh, 2023. Okay? Your future when it comes to 2023. So first, we have here we have the pile number one and pile number two. So for pile number one, we have this beautiful rose quartz. Actually, this is for uh, a crystal for love. Okay, I bought this one from uh, Shopee. And actually, this is just a, uh, like a small, uh, uh, like a small crystal. Um, this is not the... The crystal that uh, like a tower with a big tower it's not like that this is just uh, a, a small one and then the pile number two is what we call the uh, the black obsidian okay for black obsidian this crystal is used for um, for you to relieve the uh, negative energies that you already acquired from your day-to-day -day basis or if you attract a negative energy from a person Okay, so I'm going to give you a few minutes in order for you to choose. So for the first time you're here, guys, we have the pile number one and pile number two. Uh, all you have to do is just to, uh, uh, to choose the uh, card that you want. 
and you can incorporate the crystals that I have. So you can choose the rose quartz or the uh, black obsidian. Okay, so if you already uh, chose your card, so I am going to uh, do a reading with the uh, pile number one, which is the rose quartz. So I'm just going to shuffle the cards. Okay, guys, I really, really uh, appreciate your uh, kindness when it comes to, uh, you know, my tarot readings and also for your uh, lovely comments on my comment section. Thank you so much for supporting me. Uh, all throughout the year okay so we have here for pile number one oh we already have the devil um actually guys when you say the devil it doesn't mean that it is a uh, bad sign or a bad card it, it does it's not like that okay so let us uh first discuss this uh, three cards that we have here so uh based on my intuition you are going to end something Okay, maybe for the, uh, it would be the end of the month or by uh, next year, early quarter of January, that you are going to end something. Maybe it's a work, uh, maybe it's a, a situation, a uh, relationship with someone that is not bringing you um, any progress, or you think that you might cut that energy in order for you to pursue your own dreams. And if you feel that they are just, you know, they are just sucking your energy because of their negativity and you are no longer uh, serving any of them. So you can definitely go for it. It can also refer, for the devil card, it can also refer to someone who is going to, uh, like what I've said, to end something and you are going to start something new. Like you're going to resign uh, for your work that you have been uh, working for many years and then after that, you're going to apply for the uh, job that you really want and you are passionate about it. And most of you for pile number one, you're going to uh, have a, uh, your purpose. It will be clear to you if what is the, uh, uh, what is the uh, thing that you have to do all through your life. Like you're going to quit your 9 to 5 job because you feel like that you are not serving and you feel like you are not um having the freedom to do what you really like and then it doesn't serve your highest serp uh, higher self purpose okay and actually it's a good thing every uh, beginning is a good thing okay so that's what i uh, see on this uh, first uh pile of cards and then let me shuffle another one okay i'm going to uh, put this one Okay, we also have the King of Swords. Okay, so uh, with this one, guys, mm, uh, actually our reading is uh, not just only for life or for your life, but, but, but also when it comes to love life. And with the second the pile that uh, I pulled up, for this one, this is a uh, man that you are going to meet. Uh, it's like you already have a connection with this person before, but not this time. It's because um, like you are uh, has uh, different opportunities and uh, you know different path to take. That's why you weren't able to to grow with each other. But definitely, you already have a connection with this person. So this year. For the year of 2023, this is the uh, perfect time for both of you. I am also sensing, sensing that it would be uh, might be uh, for the year, uh, like you are uh, always uh, praying for, and uh, you didn't expect this person that it will going to come to your life. Since I think maybe uh, you were parted uh, two years or uh, three years because of your. Uh, different life path but for now you're going to uh, uh to see each other in such unexpected way and actually this person will going to uh give you um something that you uh never have before 
So this one will going to play a very vital part uh, when it comes to your uh, love life for the year of 2023. And I am sensing that a lot of you has uh, water signs for the people who chose pile number one. And aside from that, we also have here the Queen of Wands. And with the King, uh, Queen of Wands, uh, actually it's, uh, it's you. It's the person that you are going to uh, become since you are going to be associated with this person that I said before that you have a uh, uh, past connection with, with them. Maybe it's your ex or maybe you weren't able to have a relationship but at least you know within yourself that uh, you are more than friends or you're like it's like a uh, mutual understanding or MU as what we call it. And then for the third card, um, this person is actually in your life and I want you to know that it might be a family member or uh, like uh, an old friend in which you have to be careful for because uh, not all of them are good uh, for you. It is because uh, sometimes they are just using you and uh, you have to cut connections with this person. So with this one, I am going to discuss it totally to you. Uh, but for now, let us just focus for the uh, the love or the uh, uh, the love relationship since I already have this uh, cards. Okay, so let me shuffle another uh, set of cards for you. Pile number one, one moment. Okay, so guys, I'm just going to shuffle the uh, cards for you. One moment. Okay guys, so we have this card. Oh, we already have this one again. The uh the person that you have to uh you know, you have to cut connections already. And then we also have the other card. Oh, we also have the hanged man. Mm, okay. Well, these are beautiful card okay instead uh of this uh, second one uh, but don't worry about it because uh since you have a lot of blessings with this uh, 2023 actually a lot of the changes i can feel that uh, some of you has like feeling stuck to be exact it would be five years three to five years na, uh, that you were stuck in your life maybe you don't have any improvement actually uh, you are not uh, saying that, I'm not saying that you don't have any improvement at all, but it is just you just uh, didn't notice it. Okay, so you just have a slow pace when it comes to your uh, uh, career life. But don't worry because everything is happening for a reason and it doesn't mean that if your batchmates or if your workmates or co-worker before has already have achieved something, doesn't mean that you are in... Uh, uh, lost track it it's it doesn't uh count it is because you know what guys uh, one thing that i i have learned in my life is that sometimes the uh, season of waiting has a lot of contributions when it comes to your success when you are uh, waiting you were able to focus on yourself there's no distractions for example you don't have a work and you feel like you're hopeless but during those times that you are quiet, focusing on yourself, uh, depressed, stressed, anxious, or whatever feeling you have, you have more focus on yourself since you feel like you are alone. But actually, it is just uh, learning you to be uh, uh, patient. It is just uh, learning you on how you are going to, uh, to approach life. Because guys... Um, though I am teaching manifestation, right? Uh, guys, not 
all the things that you really want are meant for you. We have this uh, uh, right timing, yes, but we also have uh, something that is uh, uh, plans universe for us. Uh, each and every one of us has a uh, a path to take. So, so for example, uh, your friend is a doctor. And then that doesn't really mean that you have to be a doctor as well. So if your friend is a doctor, then uh, you become a nurse or you became a teacher or your uh, uh, sibling became a policeman. So we have different uh, ambitions. We also have different roles. That's the key word. We have different roles when it comes to uh, our life. So like me, uh, before... I am a uh, teacher and then I was not I am passionate about teaching but the thing is it is not meant for me like I am going to teach for a uh, conventional classroom and I am teaching the same subject over and over again okay imagine for 40 years before I resigned um, if I'm going to be a teacher again 40 years of my life are going to spend teaching subjects over and over again and guys i don't like that <laughs> i'm such a person with um, you know i have the uh i want to have uh, different surprises i want to discover something and i really want to learn uh most of the time so i don't want that kind so i really ask the universe uh if what is my path and actually, I am happy because the universe doesn't respond right away. He didn't answer right away, but he gave me signs. So, for, for example, guys, be careful with the signs. Um, I asked them if what is my purpose, what do I need to do. And then it came to a point that when I do my tarot readings, actually I'm just doing tarot readings for myself, for my friends and families. And then when I do some uh, TikTok videos on TikTok, um, at first, I only have few views, like one. Yeah, really, guys. I really experience one view, and then I also have seven views, ten views. Actually, if I ever I got ten views, I'm really happy with it. <laughs> Believe me, guys. I'm really, really happy because I was not able to add my friends because it was going to be biased. I want someone who are going to praise me. It is because it is so genuine to me if a uh, stranger will go into... Uh, say that my readings are accurate so guys uh when uh, i was uh, asking the universe for that it came to a point where i uploaded a video and actually i don't uh, i am not just for views i just want to upload my videos and all of a sudden when i uh, last checked the video i already have twenty thousand views so Imagine getting 10 views and now I already have 20,000 views and it came to a point that it became viral and as of now, uh, at first it became uh, 100,000 so I am really happy about it and then uh, it came to a point for now it is uh, already have 1.5 million views so guys imagine that and then um, uh, like uh, when I offer my tarot readings, there are a lot of people who supported me. And actually, they are saying that I'm a good reader. So, I practice it. And then, I applied for the Reiki healing. Um, actually, guys, I am already an energy healer before. But I don't have the exact... Uh, you know, every practitioner has different... Uh, uh, different modalities. So, like me, I am a tarot reader at the same time energy reader and then i enrolled for a uh, reiki healing session and then um i also enrolled into a class for reiki healer and now i am a reiki master so actually guys my path is not the usual thing like uh teaching because there's a lot of people who are teaching well actually guys i am still teaching but with a different uh, method so i am teaching my uh my followers on how they are going to be uh, successful i am also uh, sharing my gifts to my uh, followers like how they are going to uh, um, to solve their problems and most especially when it comes to self-improvement i am always uh, 
uh, with that, guys. So, uh, anyway, guys, I think uh, it's enough for me. Um, but uh, as, I, as I am saying to you guys, we have different life path. So, in this year of 2023, that's the time that you are going to discover who you really are. And uh, for those people, I can sense there's a lot of people who are, uh, like for example, 30 30 years old, 40 years old, and even 50 years old above, that some people say that you are already late, okay? Most people became successful at the age of 20 after they graduated from college, but for you guys, as I can see here, you can try a business for 2023 at the age of 49 or any age. You can also try to enroll into a uh, like uh, studies like masteral or even finishing school or you can also attend trainings at the age of 50 and guys i am also sensing someone who are going to publish their own book at the age of 50 okay not necessarily uh the own a uh, 50 years old but at any different age but most especially people with the uh, like mature minds okay people who has gone a lot of experience are going to uh, do something for this year of 2023 and believe me guys when you say that you are going to do something or there's a career path actually it it will not expire it's not like a medicine that you are just going to uh, to have an expiration date no it's not definitely not you can start your uh, restaurant business you can try uh, studying baking you can try doing the uh, forex trading or you can try to learn uh, cryptocurrency or whatever you really want okay so this is the time okay don't limit your uh, potential guys by just uh, you know by just learning uh, uh, only one that for your entire lifetime you are just going to learn only uh, one like for example one course or for example one like you have to expand okay we are capable guys and believe me we are multitaskers okay I know some of people are, are uh, uh, can't juggle things but a lot of people guys can do whatever they want in life Okay, so if you want to attend a uh, workshop, go for it. If you want to attend something when it comes to knitting or when it comes to making food, baking cakes, pastries, go for it. That's the thing that I really uh, wanted to do right now. I just want to share, guys. And uh, so this is the uh, overall career path. And actually, guys, I am a... Uh, uh, for my new followers or my new subscriber guys okay guys so here are the cards that i pulled up for you so actually there's a marriage card here um it's like you're going to start a family with the person that i said to you before that you have an old connection okay so with this card we have here the uh, ace of wands this beautiful wonderful card it represents your passion okay uh, guys, uh, I just want you to know that uh, uh, you don't have to be an employee from someone, okay? You are meant for something greater. Like, you can be a boss, creating your own time, okay? Doing something you love. And believe me, guys, this generation, when it comes, uh, everything is online, everything is digital, it is not impossible for you to have the financial freedom that you have if you are going to uh, start with it okay you don't have to be uh sorry guys i don't want to i'm not trying to hurt people who are working nine to five job what i am saying is that you are also capable of being yourself and being the boss of your own okay so don't limit yourself you have so much potential and you can do uh, whatever you set in your mind if you are going to believe it okay so i also have here for the uh, second card the uh, second card is also represents the uh, first one which is the uh, old connection that you have 
um, I think there's a uh, like a company uh, like a gathering for a company or uh, like a reunion I am sensing a reunion unexpected uh, unexpected party like what I am saying here and uh, this person is like you already uh, know them uh, like uh, their traits their uh, characteristics and everything that they uh, really want in life um, like you are so familiar with them that even their mannerisms are you are already familiar okay so uh, actually with this card um, I am sensing that if you're going to bump with this person of course you're going to encounter some problems but actually it is just minimal um, if you are going to commit into a relationship it doesn't need to be always sweet always romantic but butterfl butterflies in the stomach it's not like that okay it's not like that guys um you have uh going to encounter some hardships uh but it doesn't mean that uh, you are not meant for each other like misunderstanding like uh jealousy or uh, like just petty problems okay but you have to understand each other and uh always appreciate uh there is no uh, maybe you have a uh, like an ideal partner or ideal relationship but actually guys there is no perfect relationship behind those happy uh, faces on the picture that they are uploading on the internet it doesn't mean that there's always uh like harmony with them okay i know a lot of people showing happy faces on facebook instagram twitter they are just you know um they're just posting it because they want to feel happy they want to feel better but behind those pictures happy pictures family pictures or relationship pictures there is a lot of uh going on in the back of their mind okay so guys um you don't have to settle for a relationship that they are just going to punch you or mistreated you. But I am saying that having a mis misunderstanding with uh, uh, the person you love is um, actually natural, okay? Um, there is some uh, confusions or maybe um, there's a uh, problem when it comes to, ch to handle uh, your relationship but it doesn't mean that it will not going to work out okay so with this person here uh this is the same person that what i told you and actually even though there are some years that you are departed from each other like three to five years um they still have uh like um uh, an emotional uh, attachment to you okay um they already have a relationship with someone else same as you but at the same time uh you also have this um uh, uh, they also have that feeling that uh aside from being friends before or being in a uh, relationship um there is a possibility that they are always checking on you maybe uh, stalking you on facebook um, not necessarily time to time, but they are just checking on you, okay? So, maybe you are not friends with them, but they are just keep on searching you on so your social media accounts, okay? And then, guys, um, with this one, the like the marriage card or the family card that I am holding right now, it means a very, uh, like a uh, commitment, okay it's like it's not like they are just going to have a relationship with, with you but actually they are just trying to have a uh, a more matured uh, love relationship with you this might include um marriage or this might include um start to build a family uh with you so that's what i am uh, uh sensing here uh, right now and then, um, actually, uh, this uh, person has already uh, uh, has an experience with someone else. And actually, they uh, really 
have a lesson to learn like they have a relationship with their uh, karmic partner so guys when you say karmic partner uh it means that you are going to uh meet someone have a relationship with them but all of a sudden they're just going to leave you or you are going to broke up okay so um it's just that you are going to learn a lesson from them on how you're going to approach uh when it comes to relationship okay that's what i am sensing here with you guys so let me uh, shuffle another set of cards for you uh, for pile number one who chooses the uh, uh, rose quartz crystals okay so i'm just going to pull up some cards Okay, guys, so your person is happy to have you, okay? But the thing is, uh, they are afraid with this strong card. They are afraid that you might reject them since they are not with you, uh, like, uh, for years. So they are afraid to contact you. They are afraid to tell you how much they feel about you, okay? But uh, they also have the courage to do it. Uh, but for this time, they are just uh, having... Uh, uh, they, they just uh, want to know if there is a... Uh, if they can uh, have a relationship with you. Just give a clue or uh, a signal that they are still uh, welcome in your life. Okay? But this person has the courage to pursue you when it comes to a uh, relationship okay uh they really want you and after all those years that you are not together they seem that they are uh, um they don't feel like they are complete they feel like there's something about you that they really want to uh, experience and actually guys this is not just a normal relationship but actually i am sensing like a divine connection or a twin flame connection not not for all of you but uh for some of you guys who choose the child, uh, the pile number one, there's a twin flame connection between the two of you. Okay, so he's going to pull up some cards. Okay. Oh, we also have the hangman, which is uh, a surprise, okay? So, guys, uh, for the year of 2023, I just want you to know that you can start any um, anytime you want, okay? But please leave behind all the baggages that you already have when it comes to the year of 2022 and proceed to 2023 with a full uh, understanding that you are going to make it, okay? Every year. I'm sorry guys uh, every year is a uh, different opportunity for you so if you want to start a small business preferably like a passive income go for it okay and then uh, you want to uh, uh, pursue something and don't be afraid for it because if you are not going to try it uh, for example you are 28 years old right now and you are not going to pursue it and then uh, you're still going to be 28 years old Okay, so why not do something about it? Like when you turn 29 uh, You already have a foundation to the things that you really want. So never ever be afraid This is your sign that you have to do the things that you really want. Okay, no excuses guys Okay, because of the, all the excuses that you have that's the time that you are not going to to start with it and actually, guys, one thing that I've learned in life is that if you want to do something, just start, okay? You don't have to be an expert. You don't have to know something about it 100%. You don't have to be uh, a master about it. Even you're um, uh, an amateur, start right now, okay? And then when you start, all along, that's the time that you are going to learn, 
Okay, when I start uh, started our readings, I'm not that expert. Okay, I am not. I'm just uh, going to shuffle cards for my for my friends and families, and because of that, I was able to be familiarized with it and learn about it each and every time that I'm doing readings. So if I wasn't able to do it, then there's no improvement on me right now. So if you really want to start something, go for it. No excuses, please. No excuses. You have to do it right now so that you're not going to to say to yourself that I was not able to do it because of this, lack, uh, lack of money, because I don't have it. Then do something about it in order for you to have it. Okay? So, okay guys, uh, for the, that's the for the career reading. And with this one, I am also sensing here like an inner child. An inner child healing for you. Like, uh, you have to forgive yourself for all the things that has happened to you. Even when you're a child, a teenager, or on your adolescent years. Um, I know it's not easy, but you have to start acknowledging it. Okay, that's the uh, vibration that I am seeing on this card. And then guys, for the uh, person that you love, uh, don't forget to make them love you more. Like, uh, even though they are not the same with you, uh, if you love that person, you just uh, have to give them the uh, opportunity to love you. And then, like, make uh, some small effort for them. Uh, cook food with them and then deliver it to their house or buy them uh, small stuff that they are going to be useful in their day-to-day -day life uh, guys when it comes to love it is not just about uh, giving okay you also have need to receive and then you also have to give as well like um, you have to give and you have to receive as well it's like a balance it's like a yin and yang okay so if you want uh for example guys you want your person to give you flowers or you want your person to give you a gift why not do why not do it the first one okay even though you're a girl it doesn't mean that you're not going to have an effort with your uh, relationship okay so like uh, just a small token of appreciation with them okay so thank you so much uh my uh uh, clients or my followers for uh, pile number one who chooses pile number one so let's proceed to pile pile number two which she chose with the uh, black obsidian okay so let me uh, shuffle my cards for you my beautiful souls and for my new uh, viewers guys kindly uh, subscribe to my youtube channel and actually, guys, your uh, the um, the readings that I'm doing for you guys, um, actually, some portion of it uh, goes to uh, orphanage like the Bahay uh, San Jose, and then I also have, uh, volunteered for the uh, Happy PH. Actually, guys, this is for the uh, people who has depression, suffering from anxiety and other mental health problems actually you can donate to uh, hello happy ph uh if you want someone to have a check up with them um like you're going to uh, send the money via gcash or uh, you can uh, sponsor their treatment and actually guys as a tarot reader i am receiving a lot of uh uh readings from my clients saying that they are suffering from depression so actually guys i some of the uh actually to be exact uh 20 percent of my readings um i am uh, sending it to uh bahay na san jose orphanage same as with the um uh, uh hello happy ph uh in order for us to give back to the universe the uh the abundance the uh the uh the happiness that i'm feeling right now because you guys supported me and actually guys there's an also a project for most especially people from the philippines my fellow filipinos uh for the uh, bjmp um there's a wish tree uh for the prisoners that they are just requesting like a grocery or uh, a pack of uh 
coffee or uh, um, Islander slippers. And actually, guys, I got, I got teary eyed because they are just requesting for um, like small stuff, like food. Uh, someone requested for a uh, a pack of hot dog, which is tender juicy, and I'm so happy that I was able to uh, to help in my own little way. So I encourage you guys to do the same thing. Even you are not rich, you can still give uh, a little amount to them. And actually, Christmas is fast approaching, guys. So Christmas uh, is like a uh, we have a giving uh, spirit. Okay, we have this. Uh, um uh in we filipinos we say it like uh bayanihan okay so don't forget to share your blessing guys okay so for group number two for the people who chose uh the black obsidian uh, gemstone okay so oh my why i am uh, sensing like there is someone who uh is in a um like a confusing ah sorry confusing relationship uh like uh, maybe you're in a uh, third party situation right now um i i'm not sure if the other person is already married but i am also sensing that and then for some of you who uh has a relationship with uh, people who also has a relationship with someone else something like that but not all of you okay most of you some of the uh, people who chose pile number two which is the black obsidian okay so for this one uh, we have here the uh, page of cups and then the second card uh you guys are uh, experiencing a heartbreak okay like what I've said, some of you involved in a third party situation. Uh, maybe you're the third party or the other uh, person. And it really hurts you the most because all you want uh, for you is to be loved. Okay? All you want is to be uh, accepted by uh, people. And actually, um, I am not blaming you for, be, uh, for being vulnerable and emotional. It is because each and one of us has a uh, soft spot, okay? I'm not going to blame you. But guys, uh, I just want you to know that uh, loving a person requires like two to tango, okay? Um, you cannot uh, survive in a relationship when you are the only one who is holding on to it, okay? So guys, um, I just want you to know that... Uh, you might, if you are uh, already torturing yourself, like crying in the night, sleepless nights, uh, I think it's time for you to, you know, if it's not serving you anymore, it's always hurt, guilt, shame, then why not uh, give up on it? Okay, it's just a tip. Like, what I've said, for the year of 2023, you just have to release those people, situations, emotions that no longer serving you okay i felt a really heavy energy when it comes to pile number two but actually it's not a bad thing uh it's just for love okay but when it comes to your uh, financial stability it's like an opposite when it comes to love okay you have uh like a connection you have a connection already with uh, like a co-worker or a friend who will going to uh, to treat you better and those friends will going to give you financial stability and financial abundance that's what's i what i'm sensing here um maybe they can introduce you to someone who is higher than them and then you're going to have a business with them. Or if you are offering uh, services, actually they have connections. Like you can have clients with them. So for pile number two, it would be um, a very uh, positive way to start your 2023 for financial, uh, financial stability. And actually guys, I just want you to know that uh, when it comes to manifestations it's like a great shift when it comes to your mindset 
So guys, if you are just going to say that it is hard to earn money or you're always saying that uh, it is not enough or you are just saying that I need to work for a 9 to 5 job in order for me to have a lot of money or I need to do a lot of overtime in order for me to have a lot of money. Actually guys, that is a limiting belief. Okay? Um, do you know that there is a uh, 15 year old girl? who already have a uh, uh, provided house and lot for her parents. Imagine guys, 15 years old. She is doing uh, like, uh, she has a YouTube channel. And aside from that, she is working uh, with commissions like doing uh, uh, cartoons. Actually, she's doing like an anime or something like that. And she was able to provide for her family. And then, guys, I also have someone. Uh, she is just uh, um, an ordinary seller before. Like, uh, she is uh, selling uh, dress and uh, other stuff on social media like TikTok. And now, she is already uh, successful. Uh, it is because she said that uh, she find her passion. And actually, her name is... Uh, for my viewer or subscriber from the Philippines, her name is Miss E.G. Uh, if you are familiar with her with uh, YouTube, it's Miss uh, Edlyn Gonsalvo. And actually, she already bought the houses. I'm sorry, a uh, lot for her parents. And uh, she already has the, uh, um, like her own boutique. She started from scratch and now she is earning a lot of money. So... Uh, you just have to start with something that you are passionate about and then you can also try to uh, uh, to do like a digital creation okay guys for reels on Facebook you can, you can also uh, earn from it okay so that's what I am say sensing here for uh, pile number two but let me shuffle another set of cards for you Okay. Okay, for the uh, set of cards. So we have here the tower. Okay, so guys, when it comes to tower, there is something that are going to happen to you in an unexpected way. But it doesn't mean that it will come out as bad, okay? Eventually, if you are going to experience something, it will just make you bounce back. And it will just make you uh, even stronger. Okay, so don't be afraid with it. Then sudden changes all along the way. And then, I also have this card. Uh, this card means that you have a lot of potentials. You have to juggle a lot of things. But in the end, you're still going to be happy because it's your purpose. You're still going to uh, have your passion about it. Okay? And then guys, uh, for the uh, love life that I am saying to you, the characteristic of this person that I am saying right now is someone who is strict or has an authority, like a masculine energy. I am feeling right now. And then with this card... For the second one here on the second set, uh, this guy will going to uh, secure you, like for financial. For uh, group number two, for financial stability, you can have it on your own business or your own work. But actually, um, there is a man that you are going to meet that will also provide uh, for you, like uh, give you financial stability. Okay, so this person, for this one, this is just a future person. So you didn't know about it right now. You didn't know about him. So it would probably for this year of 2023 that you are going to uh, to uh, meet them. Okay, so let me uh, 
shuffle another card for you. A lot of surprises that are going to happen. Oh, okay. Guys, I am also sensing here that you're going to have a collaboration. Maybe with your co-worker. Or uh, collaboration when it comes to your project. Like they are going to have a contribution with you. Okay, so for some of you who are going uh, content creation, like for TikTok, social media accounts, there is someone who are, go who are going to reach out to you and they are just going to discuss a project that will also benefit you. So it's a win-win situation, guys. So uh, you should be uh, happy about it and welcome those opportunities. Okay, and then actually I also have here uh, the uh, self-improvement, okay? So, every day is uh, going to teach you or to learn uh, something. So, guys, in this uh, past approaching world, um, there is a uh, sudden shift. Like, for example, YouTubers uh, conquered the social media. They are earning a lot of money and became famous. Unlike before, that you have to study well, you have to work for a... Uh, corporate job you have to be in a number one uh, company in order for you to achieve it but guys with this kind of era with this kind of generation for 2023 um, there is a lot of creation that will going to happen when it comes to technology and actually you have to grab those opportunities okay so if you are into content creation uh, you can try experimenting about it or doing something about it like marketing strategy like uh, improving your stuff imp improving your skills and content as well okay so that's what some of my uh, readings for you and then for the uh, person let's go back to the person that i'm telling right now uh the king of swords uh, refers to the person that you're going to meet like what i've said and they are going to uh, uh, give you the emotions that you weren't able to uh, uh, to experience uh, ever before. Okay? Um, you just have to be yourself. Okay? You don't have to pretend that you are rich, that you are someone else. No, just be natural. Okay? Just be yourself. Act like, uh, like you are in your house. You just have to be true to yourself. You don't have to pretend with them because they are going to love you no matter what, okay? So, for this one, um, for the uh, uh, second card, uh, the summary of this one is that for 2023, um, you're going to experience uh, letting go of someone that you really, really love since you are not... Uh, actually, you're happy with it. But the thing is, you are not improving and you are also uh, seeing them like they are not improving as well. Like they don't, they don't want to step up and uh, you are already numb with the pain. That's why you want to uh, let go of them. That's what I am uh, sensing here. And then uh, you guys also have the... Uh, king of cups that we uh, have here on uh, this one so unlike the other person that you uh, let go uh, it means that this person will going to rescue you the one that you're going to meet in the future like um, they are not perfect as well they are they have a lot of shortcomings but the thing is they are still willing to change uh, for you and actually, they are more approachable, they are open for correction, they are open for, uh, like, if you're going to suggest them, they're going to accept it because they really want to improve. 
so that's the thing that you have to um, to acknowledge when it comes to the new people or new person that going to uh, be to have a uh, vital role in your life for this year of uh, 2023 and actually guys for your career um, it's like more on financial that's what I'm saying improvement when it comes to your financial status okay um, you are going to meet prominent people as well okay so don't stay uh, just uh, in your home every day try to find friends try to connect uh, to someone or find connections because they are going to help you to step up along the way okay that's what i'm sensing here so guys um uh, I just want again. I just want to thank you for all my followers on uh, TikTok and also on Instagram. I am near having five hundred followers on Instagram. So thank you, thank you so much. And for the giveaway, guys, like what I've said, um, I am going to uh, give at least uh for a total of two thousand pesos, uh five hundred each. I am going to choose four person who are going to uh, subscribe to my uh. YouTube channel which is Aquamarine Reading. So guys, for my new followers, thank you so much. And uh, to my new uh readers or watchers here on uh uh on YouTube, uh kindly hit the uh, subscribe button so that you are going to qualify for my giveaway. And actually not just the 500 uh, pesos, but actually I'm going to have a uh, giveaway uh, like for example a uh, um a CML lip, lip I'm sorry CML lip tint by uh Miss uh, Camille and uh, I am also giving a uh uh candles um I am also giving uh actually I'm just going to prepare for it but for the cash uh it is a uh, uh, 2,000 pesos or uh, 500 pesos each. But for the giveaway, uh, since I want to have a... Uh, to give uh, my followers, so I'm just going to prepare things that I'm going to give you guys. And actually, it is connected with spirituality. Okay, so that's the uh, thing that I'm going to do. Now, so ki guys, kindly uh, participate. So the first instruction is for you to uh, subscribe to my uh, youtube channel and then kindly follow me on instagram so it's aqua.marine1111 on my ig and actually it was linked in my bio on my tiktok and kindly also follow me on tiktok for more uh readings most especially for the year of 2023 okay and guys um for my uh, tarot readings, actually, you can just message me on my Facebook and uh, IG account. So, again, thank you so much. Thank you so much, my beautiful souls. Thank you so much for supporting me all throughout uh, the year. For this year of 2022, I was able to gain 110,000 followers. So, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, my beautiful souls. And uh, see you on my next video. And... Uh, See you on my uh, TikTok readings, same as with uh, my uh, uh, tarot readings here on YouTube, okay? And thank you, I'm going to say goodbye now. Thank you, uh, beautiful souls and uh, love and light, okay? Bye!